Hey YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Taylorette and I am about to walk into Gail's Fabrics or Gail K Fabrics is what the sign said. I saw pictures online of what they had in their store and it looks like it, they've got lots of stuff to choose from. So I thought I'd just tour it. I may or may not buy anything. Just to check it out, I am on a road trip. So as I was heading in, I asked the employees there if I could interview somebody. However, they didn't want me to video any people. So I ended up just videoing the fabric and I'll go over the fabrics that stood out to me. There was all of this formal fabric, which was really nice. So I didn't have to see it online in picture. I could actually touch it and feel it and see the colors, kind of get my imagination going a little bit. However, I didn't need any fabric really as I was going in there. So I just was really there just to look and get a feel for whether this was even worth going down for later, which, wow, there's a lot of fabric in here. So it is definitely worth it to make a trip down here. And I'm sure all you New Yorkers and LA people are probably laughing because you have way bigger fabric stores. But to me, this is pretty incredible coming from the Southern side of things. We don't have a lot of fabric stores. As I headed to the back of the store, it was pretty incredible. They had all of these wools and everything. I just ended up camping out back there for a little bit, just looking through the fabrics. They had all of these shirtings, which were really cool because they had some plaids that you usually can't find at your regular fabric store. These are kind of unique, at least to me they are. And I really wanted to buy some of them because, hey, there's a lot of plaid historical dresses that you could use these for. However, like I said, I already bought a ton of fabric from the other store, see link below on that other fabric shopping trip. And what was amazing is you look up and there's just bolts stacked on top of each other. And they also had these batiks, which are really good quality cottons. They're a tightly woven cotton and they are hand dyed and printed. And above that, they had all these eyelet cotton fabrics, which is good to know that they had those. And here is the wool aisle. This is one of the wool aisles that they had. I was really tempted to actually put together an Outlander dress. However, I just really had to put the brakes on spending money because I bought a ton of fabric, like I mentioned before. But I know that if I go down there and I want to make another dress for Outlander, I know I can go down there and find what I'm looking for. I mean, they had these plaid wools. They had every kind of different texture of wool that you could think of. They also had all kinds of different thread counts of the wool. This fabric that I'm looking at here was the fabric that I was going to use for the Outlander dress for the top, but I just ended up matching colors just for a good practice and exercise of looking at different wools. Now these fabrics up here, I realized these were doubles, and so I had to go to the front of the store and see the actual fabric that was on display, and I found these. This is synthetic, I think. I don't think that was a real wool, so I ended up not, I don't know, I just took it out, but I didn't end up using it for my colors. But I went on the other side, and these wools were a lot more expensive. And there was this one, it was just the perfect color that went with the blue that I had found. So I wanted more of a taupey, rustic taupey with a, like a dusty blue on top, was what I was going for. It's just amazing. Oh, this, oh, this is gorgeous. This material. And these were just a bunch of different silks that I was tempted to purchase, but I had to refrain. Some of the silks that I bought at that other fabric store, they have them here everywhere and different colors and shades. And they also at the front of their store had all of these different notions like thread and all of that stuff. So that is it for the shopping trip. I did not end up buying a bunch of stuff, but I looked around and I really enjoyed going there so hopefully i will make another business trip there in the future so that is it for now everyone adios hit that subscribe button like this video and i will see you all next time